Hello, my name is Adam Bean and I'm often asked um, how to implement a Java WebSocket client for a WebSocket server. So to show you this, I will need uh, at first the server. So create a server endpoint, so it's fairly easy. Um, so I would like to use the very thin Maven template and it called the server or WebSocket server. And um, what will create, it will it now fetches the um, archetype and creates the project and uh, then I will need uh, to create a maven client project uh, doesn't have to be maven but I like to use maven is uh, very fast and simple so I will use a uh, websocket client and um, the websocket client needs a dependency so as you can see it's a very simple project I will just use java 8 and the dependency uh, is to Tyrus. Tyrus is the reference implementation, WebSocket reference impl implementation. What I'm searching for is the server, and I would lose, uh, use the version 1.9. So this is all you need to uh, to implement a WebSocket client. And on the server side, I need a endpoint. I call this messages endpoint. Endpoint, and I need the same similar endpoint on the client as well. Uh, so this is the messages endpoint and it needs to be annotated with a server endpoint and I would like to use the um, or I have to use a URI starting with a slash and call this messages and then what we need at least one method on message but uh, we also need a session so the session you could uh, you can for instance create a method called init and on open uh, annotation and put here the WebSocket session and we can remember the session so this session equals session I would like to remember that and uh, what do I also like to do is to create a method called uh, message could be on message like message driven beans it doesn't have to and I will just interesting the payload on message on message and here um, I would like to output the message and what I also like to do is to send back the message and say send text let's say echo and I will add the add the message so it looks good I only have to catch of course an exception so I will just ignore it for, for a moment so this is just the server part it doesn't matter right now so now concentrate on the client so let's try to deploy this whether it actually works so glassfish server and run it so as you can see uh, it works somehow so there is an uh, 404 because of course there's no HTML page no JSF no JSP nothing but the URI is important so uh, now uh, let's build the client. On the client side, it's a very similar story. So WebSocket is a, I would say, symmetric protocol. So on the client, we also need a messages endpoint, messages endpoint, but we will have, there is no container on the client usually. So um, we will create it programmatically. So extends endpoint and we implement the method and what I would like to do is I will also like to remember the session session equals sn so remember this so we have the socket session and I would like be, to be able to send a message so how to do this similar string message and this uh, session get basic remote send text message so now it's sent and of course receiving message would could be also interesting so let's do this this session so we have to do at message handler and we have to register message handler but this message handler uh, needs to be a whole we would like to implement something which receives the whole message string and we say here received 
message and this is just an error so looks good so we have the uh, on open and we send the message so what we only need now the actual client or driver so i would like to write a unit test for this and call this uh, sockets test and the package is going to be a hex so let's see sockets tests and um send message so um there is a class a bootstrap class called container provider uh, similar to container provider very similar to um the client builder in JaxRS. so uh container and container we can say connect to server and as you can see we need the endpoint so i would like to remember the message endpoint this is the message the endpoint equals new message endpoint and i need the uri and the uri starts with ws slash slash it and uh, let's go to the browser and this is actually the same URI as the server is. So let's just, I don't use the um, HTTP because it's not HTTP. And then what we also need there is the messages. So we have to check it. So this is the URI. So very, very similar to JaxRS actually. So messages. And of um, and so we have the endpoint, the messages, and this needs to be an URI. So we use here new URI and with the constructor. And then it should work after catching some exceptions. So this exception, we would like to deployment exception and IO exception. And now are no more exceptions left. So endpoint send message. Hey Duke, of course. And now try this test. So um, test is green, which is always always nice. Let's see what happened on the server. And the server received the message. So um, thank you for watching. As you can see, WebSocket client is even easier than uh, WebSocket uh, with JaxRS. No, oh, I would say the same. So it's really easy to create um, WebSocket clients for testing or just as drivers or, you know, for your swing in Java fix applications. So thank you for watching and see you on upcoming conferences. Um, Airhex, of course. So we have uh, new Airhex workshops in Munich um, or custom workshops or even the real world project with lots of coding. And don't forget to subscribe to Airhex News. Okay, thank you, bye.